some hot tea. Well, if I don't use it for a while, it might get a little cold. Sorry. Uh, Alright, I don't really think there's anything you really need to do here, but I guess in my, well, there's no point. What the heck, let's check her out. I'll turn the music a little bit so you don't hear like, what, 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 what. what's this guy? Pokemon need to learn a move. Mushroom. <laughs> I don't know where you find mushrooms in this game. <laughs> Graphic artist, oh, I see this. this doesn't really look like a Miyamoto to me. <laughs> Anyways, I guess there is nothing to do here. I always thought there's like more floors than that. That's kind of why. I... So, anyways, I guess we'll. Uh, guess we could head to the department store. So if there's any different items there or anything? I don't think there is. There's not really maybe a whole bunch different the city to be honest with you. But I like to check out the department store just to kind of, because I don't really know if I did check the first time I played this game. I was kind of. Just rushing to see what I could do. The first floor is no different. Probably the second floor isn't either. I'm just kind of curious to see what's kind of... Uh, you know, maybe some different TMs. This guy still gives you counter, probably. Yep. <laughs> not the one I'm leaning on. <laughs> oh my god. He's not even leaning on it. Sprite isn't, anyways. But that would be pretty tough to get a Sprite to lean on. Anyway, I'm curious if you still got the stones. So I don't really know why they give you the stones throughout the throughout there, but maybe if you want to try to evolve earlier, you have one of each, because now you can just kind of buy them freely. And I'm pretty sure TMs are on this floor. Oh, that's probably the X attack and the Carbos guy. Carbos, and yeah. I must have missed them then. Must have been on like the third floor or something. We'll head to the top and we'll buy one of each drink for the lady here. Oop, I bought two fresh waters. I like fresh water. So we'll give you fresh water and we get light string. Now they're not really good moves. They were good They were good moves in uh in uh, Pokemon Yellow. She gave you like try attack and rock slide and I want I don't want to give you fresh water. Lemonade. Yay, lemonade. And reflex. So really they're really pointless TMs. If you want, then you can have them. I'm gonna check out the uh wait a second. TMs must be in the second floor then. Uh, Fool with me to switch out. Now in the while the battle ends, okay, it's like roar or something. Plus psychic power to swap abilities, skill. Oh, it says in the, on the bottom corner. Well, I'm used to trying to guess them. Dig, brick break, secret power track. Not really the best of items, to be honest with you. Or TMs, I'm on them as usual. Anyways, I don't know why I was fast forwarding there. What do you gotta say? Oh, you blew it all at the slats. Slats. Uh, I just think it's funny how, like, games. Uh, how games do that. Like, they. Not funny, but. I mean, it's kinda nice to have, like, a little game corner to. You know, do something different with, but, uh. But other than that, there's really no point. Because, like, in my opinion, it's kind of, I don't know. Like, it's kind of, like, for little kids to, like, game corner and stuff. And, I don't know. And there's, like, I always, like, cartoons stuff that, like, like, Bugs Bunny. Like, there's, I mean, as much as I loved Bugs Bunny when I was younger. Um, <laughs> like, it's kind of not really good for young kids to watch. Because they're, like, Elmer Fudd shooting a rifle at uh, Bugs Bunny. It's probably not all that uh, welcome, and anyways. Like, pretty much every cartoon's like that, so I can't really say, I can't, I don't know. I just think that's kind of strange how, you know, it's supposed to promote, like, kids' entertainment, and it's, it's like, you know, all about, like, shooting, and, <laughs> I don't know. So that's kind of what I thought with this, like, I mean, a little game, like, promote kid entertainment by playing Pokemon, and they get it hooked in the game corner, and, <laughs> Uh, it doesn't provide very, uh, very, uh, educational entertainment, that's for sure. But anyways, there's, like, some Rosellias and some bugs in there and stuff. So, I guess if you want to go ahead in there, I just kind of do a little search. Um, might as well beat to take on the gym while I'm here before we go ahead and, and, uh, whatnot. I don't know if I'm going to the gym or the, 
with a whole game corner thing first. I guess I'm gonna take. I can take. Now that I got the coin case here. I'm actually gonna take a look at the uh, prizes here you can get at the game corner. Um, ooh, no, no, no. Well, I can't buy. It. I don't have any coins, anyways. Um, yeah, there's like some uh, t um, hold items there, and here's some uh, Pokemon. If, geez, I can. Like, these are pretty much the same as the as Pokemon Fire Red. They're not really changed. But there's some decent Pokemon. I mean. I actually think maybe uh, you know scissors are as awesome as they are. They're probably not all that useful. Uh, this is TM. I have no idea. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I have no idea what they are. They're not very much coins. They shouldn't be too like. Can't be crazy amounts. I remember in the original games. Um. Uh, what was it? In the original game, like when you're trying to get the Porygon, like 9,999 coins, I remember that, um, I remember that you have to, like, it, you can't just buy 100 coins and you only need, like, 43 left, say. You have to actually try to win the amount to try to get 9,999. I could be wrong on that, but I remember thinking that I had to do that, and I went in the wrong building, and I remember, like, I finally got, like, because I just went to get a Porygon, and then, I don't know. I don't really know why Porygon was so hyped up. Anyways, there seems like there's a whole bunch more people. See, like, what's this? Like, I don't know. This, how is this educational, like, to entertainment for Pokemon? Like, saying I was drunk and I blew all my coins. Like, what? He's giving me Porygon? <laughs> so I was just complaining about spending $9,999 in Porygon. Thank you. Lots of coins. Thank you. All right. And he just gives me a Porygon. <laughs> just complaining about... In the story about how I complained about trying to get a Porygon for 9,999 coins. And he gives me one right there. Oh, anyways, that's the gym guy. Win or lose, it's only by luck. Not really. There's actually, I guess, a little bit of strategy in the slots. Not, like, crazy. This place is run by Team Rocket. Machines have different odds. I don't really know how you determine the odds of games. Like... I'm sure it's true, but there's no way you can actually find. You have to like play it lots to to. Uh... Boom! Boom! Oh! Boom! 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 I wish they would have a different game in slots. In this. That's something that's kind of went downhill. I found throughout the last. Well, I got the two berries. I love that winning music, by the way. Oh, sevens! It's nice if you can get a berry or something on the first one because you're kind of guaranteed a win. Um, but yeah, the game corner has really kind of gone downhill in the last few games. Like, I don't like. What's the? Uh, oh, I see. That's, that's not bad payoff. But like, it really like the, the one in in um, diamond and pearl was not good at all. I don't mind what they did in, in Goldenrod for Hard Gold and Soul Zero with the Voltor Flip, because I really like Voltor Flip, but I have a problem that, you know, I was excited to actually do a, see what the game corner's like, and they just take out the game corner, so you got to probably wait till they get to sell it on City and Kanto before you can actually do it, and then, yeah, I, I haven't done that yet, because I haven't played Soul Silver in forever. Um, I have no idea what I'm going to do with that Let's Play. It, it really kind of got messed up. Anyways, here, I'm going to be, I'm done here. I have no idea what I'm doing with Soul Silver. Like it's a mess. Um, I might just cancel it altogether, to be honest with you. It's it's just gotten ugly. Like if you're to wait, like you've been waiting this long for uh, Paper Mario, anyways, and I have no idea. Still, like, what day is this? Like it was like it's the 29th of May today, and I still haven't heard nothing about my camera yet. Um, well. I did go one day and they said there'll be a couple weeks, but I'm actually going to stop this recording session right here because I did quite a bit actually, a good 30, 40 minutes maybe. So uh, I think I'm going to, man, I'm going to do some more recording later tonight or something, but um, I'm going to stop here. So I think we're going to go ahead and do, um, I think we're going to take on the gym first. We're going to go ahead and take on the gym, and then we're going to go ahead and uh, 
do the uh, Team Rockets hideout, and then we'll head back to Lavender Town and just check out a couple of those houses that I didn't check. And uh, go ahead and go through, uh, go through, um, a bit, a bit, a bit, a bit, uh, the, the uh, Pokemon Tower, because you'll be able to access that after that. And then we'll do our, uh, every which way over to, uh, uh, Future City will probably uh, do both ways. I'm assuming, yeah. You'll probably need it for the levels because that fifth gym leader can get pretty high. I mean, their levels are pretty decent. I I can't even think I've been that far. So we're getting to the point where I wasn't, uh, where I got to before I started this let's play. But anyways, I said I was gonna quit, so I'm gonna quit. All right. So it's spectacular saying goodbye, and I'll see you guys later. Thank you very much. Good watch. Thank you very much. Good watching. Oh my god, yeah, I have to stop now. If I can't even talk, as I call troth mumbles. Mm -hmm.